Hi TikTok, this is me telling you or showing you how I'm trying to make my mask. This might fail horribly or it might not, so I don't know. So I have sunglasses that I'm hopefully going to attach the mask to. So I just traced those out and then figured out how big my head is and then made a circle because my mask is going to be circular and symmetrical. That's the mask design I'm going to be doing. So this is the part where I was sketching out the design on one side so I could copy it to the other. Um, I drew it in with pencil first and then after I went over it in Sharpie so I could fold it in half and then transfer it to the other side. Um, that way the design would be pretty much symmetrical and I could do things a lot easier that way. Next part, we're going to be transferring it to cardboard. So here I am taping the mask template to another piece of paper to trace it because I'm going to cut out the eyeballs on the other version. This is me tracing it out with a lighter marker just because I didn't want to use a really dark one and mess up the original lines on, on the original template thingy. In this part, I had to use my computer to see the lines, which is not a smart idea. Um, if you can avoid doing this, please do avoid doing this. You can uh, probably draw on your computer or mess up the screen. This is all I could do. And here I am cutting out the eyeballs. Here I put tape down so I could tape the sunglasses to the thing so I could see where I want it to sit on my face and then I adjusted it however I wanted it to and marked it and then this is just me adding a little bit of extra uh, to the final touches of his details and then and then tracing it on the other side this is me tracing out the face pattern onto the cardboard so I can cut it out um doesn't have to be perfect just gotta get the general shape you don't really have to even put the designs down yet, um, but that's going to be the base for your uh, mask. Here I traced out the designs, so if I needed to cut something out for a design part, I could. Um, this part is optional, you don't really have to if you don't want to. So this is just me tracing over extra details onto the cardboard, you don't really have to do this again. Um, after this, I cut it out with a box cutter, and I made sure I had something under it so it wouldn't <laughs> scratch the floor, because that's no good. I tried using scissors at first, but I realized that was going to be very difficult, so I grabbed a box cutter, which works flawlessly, I will say. In this step, you take cardboard strips or different cardboard shapes you glued together and try to make the shape that you want your mask to be in. So with this part right here, I'm trying to make the nose shape by bowing it out and then gluing it in place with craft glue, with craft glue. Um, Right here, I'm trying to figure out how to do the cheeks. I actually scrapped this idea and decided to do it another way. You'll see when I do this cheek. To be honest, it's a lot easier to do square shaped masks instead of round ones because cardboard is pretty janky. So on this one, starting on the eyes, uh, I took some plastic sheet and, you know, traced out the eye shape and whatever. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two different ways. This is the first way. Um, basically, use a Sharpie to put in the color of the eye, be it black or whatever you want to do. And then you use acrylic paint to put in a whole bunch of dots. 
Now, this is time consuming and tedious, so you might not want to do this. <laughs> but if this is the only thing you have on hand, it's kind of fun to do all the dots, but very tiring. And you can see really well through it, like really, really well, but it probably won't cover your eye too well. Okay, so this is me showing you how to do the other eyes. Um, basically, I just took some window screen and painted it white. And then, you know, added the pupils or whatever else you want to do. I mean, it's up to you, man. I don't know why I recorded so long of me painting the white. But yeah, the character I'm doing, his name is her. He's got X eyes. So that's why I'm doing the X's. I recorded too much of me painting. Gosh. Uh, that's me turning the light on because I was trying to see if there were like little bubbles in between the thingies, you know, the little holes. And if you get little holes in, if you get little bubbles in there, you can just blow on it and it pops off. Uh, this is me showing you how good you can see. And then that's them in the mask and that's the other eyes I did. And then I just showed you. Hi, this is me gluing in more pieces to my mask, uh, just basically rounding out the mouth and junk. Um, it was actually pretty simple. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Uh, right here, I'm getting ready to cut out the back of the mask uh, for a mouth hole and also so I can put in teeth later because I'm hoping to cut his mouth frame out and then put teeth in. I think that would be neat. So it's like his teeth are inside his face instead of like painted on. Um, be careful with this part. Um, if your mask is too thin, it'll wobble like mine did a little bit. So I'm probably going to have to put supports where the cardboard is thin. And with some of the little things, I had to tape them down because they wouldn't stick with the glue because I cut them too short. So that's another tip. In this part, I start um, paper mache. I just mixed almost equal part water to equal part glue. Um, I don't really have much to say. Uh, I recommend using thicker paper because printer paper is really, really thin. I probably shouldn't have used printer paper. I probably should have used like scrap paper instead to be more eco-friendly, but I didn't think about that. I had an issue with uh, the paper ripping a lot. But it is what it is. To start off, I tried cutting out the mouth pattern to kind of line it up on the mask, but it, it turned out to be a little too small and it just looked really weird. So I ended up having to freehand it on, which wasn't that bad. Um, I messed up a few times, but cool thing, <laughs> you're writing on paper so you can erase it and all that jazz. And then I cut it out with a box cutter. Yeah. And this is me just paper macheing over the edges so it looks clean. You know, that good jazz. <laughs> um, the next clip after this is me trying to figure out how to do, how to do the teeth. Um, I thought about just putting a whole sheet of cardboard in there, but that didn't work, so I'm going to have to segment it and then paper mache over it, which will be fine. I'm gonna be pretty honest. This was pretty boring. Um, all I did was cut off bits and pieces here and there that looked weird and just paper mache over them so it didn't look as bad. At long last, finally, we get to paint. This is actually pretty fun and by far the fastest step. I knocked this out in like an hour or two. This is me just doing the base coat, um, the main color that he is. Um, here I'm adding details to make it look more weathered and dirty, I guess. 
you could say. And then here's me painting his cheeks. Um, you can do whatever colors you want. Here's me fixing the mouth because I made a mess. Um, right here, you can see in his mouth, there's a hole. I made that hole because I realized he has a split in his teeth and it would look more realistic to his design. And here's me painting his nose. Hi, I'm going to try gluing the eye mesh today, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to use hot glue, but if that doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is me cutting and measuring out the size of my head because for the strap to uh, attach the mask to uh english yeah basically it's going to be the strap that holds the mask to my face this is a little spacer block between my forehead and the mask because uh, my nose is kind of big and it kind of hits the mask so it's like a spacer you'll see here got it like spaced to how i want it and there's, I taped on the eyes in the position I wanted them, and then I glued them with hot glue afterwards, and it worked pretty well. Be careful though, uh, the glue does seep through the um, mesh, and it is hot. I'm a professional idiot, so I can do that. So basically all I did was just glue this down, make sure it dries and cools before trying to do other stuff. So here I'm trying to stitch a little like crease in the elastic um you can see me doing it here i'll show you after this uh, what it's supposed to look like basically it's to lessen the stress on the glue so when you hot glue it to your mask uh, it's less likely to pop off here's me gluing it down um I'm unsure why the hot glue changed colors like that, so that's cool. And I just glue it down, hold it there, let it cool, and I can see perfectly in the mask. It's all good. It's really nice.